ER physician here. Responding to the code blue. Surgical nurse manager here. Responding to the code blue. Okay, I see no respirations. I'll start backing. Can you feel a pulse? No, there is no pulse. Okay, start CPR. Have you started CPR? You need to start compressions now, please. We will need to perform a timeout before we can begin CPR. There is no blood flow to his brain right now. I think a timeout is a bad idea. He will have permanent brain damage or die if we do not start CPR now. We take patient safety very seriously here. A timeout is mandatory before any procedure. CPR is the procedure. So we need to have a timeout. Delaying CPR will prolong his ischemia and reduce his chance of survival. That would be bad care. No. No. Doing a procedure without a timeout is bad care. If the timeout was done, then care was good. If not, then care was bad. Okay, back to the point. We need to start CPR so that he will survive. He will only survive if his care is good. His care is only good if the timeout is done. And if his HIPAA forms are signed. And if he has had smoking cessation counseling and a pneumonia vaccine. If every one of these things are done, then he will have good care. Then he will survive. Okay, do you know anything about anoxic brain injury? Not really, but we can talk about theoretical things later. Right now I need to perform a timeout, so that care will be good. Is there a signed consent for CPR on the chart? Has the site of CPR been marked? Were antibiotics given one hour before CPR? Your silence tells me these things were not done. This is an emergency. You must begin CPR right now. We will need a second physician to certify an emergency. If they agree you can start the CPR after the emergency has been certified. Okay, I'm going to proceed with the care of this patient. You there, you at the foot of the bed. Begin CPR now please. Stop that. You are violating hospital policy. Keep going with the CPR and give him epinephrine. Good job with the CPR, apply the external pacing pads. I can see in his chart that his HIPAA papers are not signed and he has not yet had a pneumonia vaccine. Yet you are doing procedures. This is bad care. This is going very poorly. He has not responded to CPR, epinephrine, atropine, or external pacing. I think we should stop. Are there any objections? Wait. I think that we can still help him. Give him the pneumonia vaccine. That will help his care be good. We need to make sure that every patient has good care. If you give him the vaccine now, then we will have 100% for vaccinations this month. Then his care will be amazingly good. He will live. Really? I think we should stop. Have you tried giving him a patient satisfaction survey? Sometimes those can be very effective. Give him a patient satisfaction survey and he will live. 